All right, YouTube, it's the right car. Get back again with another video. Okay, I haven't uploaded in like a few days, maybe pushing a week now. Okay, so on Monday, I went to Empiricon Festival in Manchester. And um, well, that was fun. But then I got um, like very drunk that night. And then I got unwell. And that unwell turned into like more unwell. And I've just, I've just been fucked. I haven't been well at all. So yeah. I'm really not feeling too cracky right now, but I'm just, you know, gotta do a video, man. It's what I love. Let's do this. <coughs> oh, shit! Bail me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. No! Stop dripping! Stop it! No! Oh, I'm fuck. This is not what I wanted to be doing right now. Uh... No. Okay, so for this video, I had to sit down and I thought to myself, what games did I put an unhealthy amount of hours into? And dozens came to mind, literally dozens. But there's, there's a rule. I'm not allowing Fallout 3 or Pokemon Yellow in this game simply because those games, they just don't count. Because that just, no. To kick things off, we have Oblivion. Yes, The Elder Scrolls 4. Oblivion. This game is a masterpiece for what it is. Plenty of things wrong with it being a Bethesda game, but that's just what gives their game its character. Am I right? Basically, if you played Skyrim, this is the one that this is the one that came before Skyrim, um, and it's awesome. It's just it's amazing. Skyrim overall is a better game, you know, mechanic-wise, everything else, story-wise, in my opinion. But Oblivion, Oblivion just is Oblivion. That that's it. Play it. Yeah, good. Second on the list is Soul Calibur 4. Yes, Soul Calibur 4 is my personal favourite fighting game of all time. I absolutely love Soul Calibur 4. I love Soul Calibur 5, but Soul Calibur 4, fuck me. I got every single achievement in Soul Calibur 4, and there was a really hard one which involved you having to freaking finish that Tower of Lost Souls thing, whatever it's called, and let me tell you, that last Algol level, fuck. I'll admit, I'm actually rushing through this video because I really don't feel well. Next one on the list, Saints Row the Third. You have seen me play Saints Row the Third on some of my videos for the background video. Saints Row 2 is my favourite in the series, don't get me wrong, but I've just played Saints Row the Third more than all the other ones because it's so fucking dopey. Because let me tell you, I like GTA 4, but that game was a fucking letdown. And Saints Row the Third is just... That filled the gap when it finally came out, which was actually a few years later on. It is boiling in here. Last game, Bully. Bully is fucking awesome. Pretty sure I've put Bully in here. Yeah, my top five games, I'm pretty sure Bully's in there. Listen, Bully is fucking GTA in a school where you kick the fuck out of bullies and eventually go out of the school and start riding bikes. Tell me that isn't what you want in life. That is what you want in life. I'm waiting for Bully 2, they're fucking talking about Red Dead Redemption's GTAs, this, that, that, fuck it all. Oh, bring us another Bully, please. I love Bully. But yeah, those four games are all games that I put an unhealthy amount of hours in. I'll admit, there is a lot more games that could be on this list, such as Skyrim, every Pokemon game that isn't a spin-off, The Warriors, that is a top PS2 game. There's, there's just there's Super Smash Bros, there's Worms, there's so many games I have put thousands of hours into. But let me tell you, these are the four that are really stand out to me and games that I love so much. So be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this with anyone it may benefit. Goodbye. Oh shit, I'm on the fucking window.